Today, let's talk about wildfire, science, and our own real-world substances that come close to it. First, let's talk about wildfire. Wildfire is an unpredictable green liquid in A Game of Thrones, A Song of Ice and Fire that is incredibly destructive and created by the Alchemist Guild. If we are to believe them, the creation of it involves magic, which is most likely true, and I'll go into why that is in a bit. Wildfire is an incredible fickle substance that can be set off by any spark or flame. Even too much heat and sunlight can lead to a fire. And once this fire starts, wildfire will burn until there is no more of it. It also soaks into most materials, causing them to catch on fire. Wildfire will even float on water and still burn. This substance is so treacherous, the alchemists keep it in small jars of pottery with clay roughened and peppled to improve grip. They also file them in stone cells with little else in them, and over each cell they have a room filled with sand that has a spell on the floor, so if the substance gets out, the sand will fall on it. The more dangerous jars of wildfire are only transported at night, sealed with wax, and put in rooms pumped full of water. But here's what some of our favorite Game of Thrones A Song of Ice and Fire characters have to say about wildfire. Wildfire! Stay clear! Stay clear! I remember reading an old sailor's proverb. Piss on wildfire and your cock burns off. Oh, it, it could well be true. The substance burns so hot, it melts wood, stone, even steel. And of course, flesh. So that is wildfire in a nutshell, but what real world substances come close to it? Well, it's believed that George based wildfire either off of Greek fire or napalm, or maybe a combination of both. Greek fire was created by the Eastern Roman Empire around 672 and mostly used in naval battles. Just like George's wildfire, it was incredibly unpredictable and would continue to burn while floating on water. The Battle of Blackwater Bay has similarities to the Siege of Constantinople that took place in 717. The Arab fleet that was attempting to create a blockade of the city was neutralized by Greek fire. Interestingly, despite having similarities to napalm as well, George has stated that he actually based wildfire off of Greek fire. He said, Wildfire, of course, is my magical version of Greek fire, to go back to that Constantinople reference. And once again, fantasy is bigger, so wildfire is Greek fire times 10. It's Greek fire, but it's worse than Greek fire. But just like with other science elements of his books, that doesn't mean his wildfire doesn't have elements of something else. So let's take a quick look at napalm and how it's similar to wildfire. While we don't know exactly what Greek fire is made up of, we actually do know what napalm consists of. Napalm, a burning gel, was created in the 1940s by scientists at Harvard University. They found by combining two acids with fuel, typically petroleum, it would stick to surfaces such as buildings, skin, furniture, and burn longer. It being oil-based, it was also very difficult to extinguish with water and would simply burn on. So you see how George could have taken one or both substances to make his wildfire. But he did more than that because these two real-world substances are close equivalents to wildfire, but wildfire is able to do things that they can't. At the end of season six, Cersei chose violence. Like, really chose it. Using wildfire, she takes out many of her enemies when she destroys the Great Sept of Baelor, then has a nice adult beverage to celebrate murdering a fuck ton of people. But how the Great Sept blew up goes against our world's physics and how napalm or Greek fire would react. In our world, the explosion we see here would create a huge overpressure. The shockwaves over and above normal atmospheric pressure, but wouldn't create flames. However, with the Great Sep, we see huge overpressure and lots of flames. And that is due to magic. As George has stated, wildfire is mixed with in an interview. It isn't surprising that George would mix magic into the substance to make it scarier. And really, isn't magic just science we don't understand? So while it's easy for George to say, yeah, Greek fire with magic, some incredibly bright scientists have put forward their best thoughts on what this magic could be or mean. Dr. Rain believes that while wildfire can be classified as a reactive phosphorant liquid, it also has explosive and burning properties that no known chemical species in our world has. He states that it contains both its own oxidizer, which is why it's incredibly explosive, and fuel, but it also burns in what looks like diffusion flames, which indicates the fire is reacting to something in the surrounding air. His guess would be oxygen or maybe some magical chemical in their world that can make nitrogen react. 
And the fact that George even gives scientists enough to comment on is part of why I just love this series. We have elements of our own world blended beautifully with magic and fantasy elements. Or maybe they really do have a special chemical that reacts in a different way than our world. Nah, probably magic. So thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and I love making videos like this, so I hope to make more science videos in the future.